Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to present something that I call the InBiosphere. And there's a lot to this, but what I'm going to show you is just how to create the sphere itself. And what it does is it allows you to project a high quality, an 8K or higher image against a sphere. And then you can use that as a backdrop. Now there's also a floor component and some other things, but I'm just going to show you the outer sphere for right now. So to get started with this, we're just in Modeler. I'm just going to go to the ball here, click and drag and click right there in the back view. And we're just going to the numeric panel here. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in 10, tab, 10, tab, 10, tab. It's 10 meters. And we're just going to go ahead and hit the space bar, drop the tool and hit F2 to center this. And I'm just going to zoom out for a second here. On the surface editor here, I want to come in here and we do not want principal BSDF. This will not work with principal BSDF. So we're going to switch it to standard here. We're going to go ahead and drop the diffuse to zero, the specular to zero, and luminosity we're going to put at 100%. And we do want smoothing on. And then the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to press F and flip the polys. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this object as. This is definitely a work in progress. So I'll call this sphere 888 and save. And now we'll just go ahead and send this over to layout. Now I'm going to switch out a camera view for a minute here and go into perspective. And then let me zoom out here. And now what we're going to do is there's just a few settings that we need to do. So I want to make sure that the camera is inside the sphere. And since this is going to be our background, I actually want the sphere to be pretty big. So I'll go on to stretch here and let's just do 50, 50, 50. Is that too big? looks pretty big, doesn't it? Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty good sized. Okay, so our camera is definitely in the scene now. And then what we're going to do is you need to go to some place like HDRI Haven or Polyhaven, I mean, and get yourself some images. So let me see. I've already downloaded a couple already. So the first one that we're going to do is for the sphere itself. So with the... We'll go here into the surface editor, click in here, and let me delete this. And we'll go ahead and get an image here. Image and drag it onto the scene and plug color in. And let me see if I can find that 8K image. It's this one here, the Lonely Road Afternoon. I we'll have a couple of them, but we'll do the Lonely Road here. And that's an HK, 8K. So go ahead. And then we're going to project that on the Y and Spherical. That's pretty much all we need to do for that. And just to get a look at what this looks like, if I go into VPR or Camera View, and let me go into VPR. You'll see on the camera itself, and I go to rotate, you can see we can look around this image. And it's a good high quality image. So also let me check my color space while I'm here. Make sure I got that set right. Yep, let's go check here on the sphere itself and go to properties. Let's see here on render. We want all these settings off. Except unseen by camera. And we also want to go into lighting and exclude everything except the environment light. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the light here. We're going to select the environment light, turn off, use global. And this is only going to light 
our object itself. So we don't have an object in the scene right now, but if I go ahead and I right click here, I'm gonna add textured environment, double click this, come in here, and we're going to load up another image here and that's going to be this 4K EXR. And we'll put that on the Y and we'll project this spherically. And this will be our lighting for our object here. And so if I go ahead, let me try to bring in a object here. So let me go to model, geometry, cube. Let's see what happens with this. Bring it closer. There we go. And then let me turn this so we can see it a little bit better. And let me bend it this way. And let me put a surface on there. So let me add a checkerboard. Now this object can be principal BSDF because it doesn't really affect anything. So let me just go ahead and add a checker board for this. I'll put this on here and we'll just make it cubic and we'll drop this down to like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and we'll make this white. And let's see what that looks like. Now let's see, if I go on the object itself, it's probably also being lit by the, let me check here, lights. There, if I turn the distant light off, this is just being lit by the environment light right now. So this scene is self-illuminating, the backdrop is, but the object itself is being lit by the environment light. So if I go back into lights here and turn on this, I can decrease the intensity of the light to where there's nothing on there. This is actually kind of the color of the light here. I can actually pick this here and pick an image from the screen. No, no, pick from screen. We can change the lighting color just a little bit there so that it matches a little bit more. So we can play around with this to make this look more a part of the scene. But you'll notice depending on your distance from the ground, we don't see a shadow yet. So the next part of this would be to add a floor so that we could have a shadow. But anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.